Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mic Checked podcast. This episode will also be uploaded on Mic Check Productions to kind of fill in on everyone what's going on in case they missed the channel update that I posted a while back. Today, I have Ooh. my usual partner in crime here, Lyson Fang. Hello. And Krieger Margin usually would be here with us, but we couldn't really get a hold of him. So maybe, hopefully, he'll get off his game of Smite with his Xbox butt buddies and jump in and figure out what's going on. <laughs> what? But you said butt Smite weren't involved. <laughs> well, with, with Krieger it, and Xbox... It's his butt buddies. <laughs> All right. All righty. The show must go on. So, oh, shit. since the last episode we recorded, that never got released because I had some major technical issues that I will get into later. What's been going on in your life, Mr. Uh, Lyson Fang? Oh, I mean, I was MIA for a while due to family shit. Yeah. But... I mean, I'm a year older, another year's over. Other than that, I won a guitar amp. That was about the only big thing I got. What'd you do on New Year's? Basically played pool, watched um, Buddy play, that plays drums in his band that covers 90s music. Hmm. So, pretty chill. Nothing too extreme as usually is, but... It usually is? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, you, usually on New Year's, it's like karaoke and people going ape shit. And they didn't have Usually karaoke. multiple fights and stuff, so. Did they not have karaoke that night? No, the DJ was doing a wedding that oh, night. Okay. I think you remember saying something about that. Yeah, he was doing a wedding, which I'm pretty sure the people that got married ended up showing up later at the end of the night, <laughs> but whatever. Got a party at the bar! Right. But, I oh. mean, yeah, not, not, nothing too fancy or anything I've been up to. So. Well, I will say that my New Year's this year compared to New Year's last year, which I think I went out last year, didn't I? I believe so. And I probably got trashed? Probably. Mubby fell asleep in a shower afterwards <laughs> or something. Well, got undressed in front of Krieger's door. Oh my goodness. Uh, I was going to say that comparing it to last year and all of my other uh, shenanigans on going out to the bar on holidays was nothing compared to this year. Because I mainly... Uh, so I live in an upstairs bedroom at my, uh, grandpa's house now for the time being, uh, out in, uh, the country, and I spent the time, <laughs> I spent the time hiding up here pretty much until after New Year's hit because there's a bunch of yelling, screaming kids downstairs. Oh yeah, that's never fun. Yeah. And then the next day I went downstairs to kind of hang out, and only one person told me Happy New Year. From the household. Uh, nice. <laughs> I was glad that my phone didn't blow up this year on New Year's like it usually does. I think it's because I pretty much stopped using Snapchat almost all, all together. Yeah, I mean, I have it, I occasionally will use it, but it's like every, like, two weeks I'll put something on there and be like oh yeah I haven't looked at this in forever I should probably post something <laughs> so yeah I got uh got moved out of Pittsburgh I'm no longer a Pittsburghian anymore probably won't be probably I don't know for a while I don't know I don't with the way life's going right now I don't think Pittsburgh's in my future calendar anytime soon i think um i think i kind of i i did enjoy my time in pit it's just kind of near the end there it just i it's not it's not that like i didn't like the people there it was just i felt like i kind of had my stay in pit if that makes sense yeah 
It's just, it, it, like, I mean, with pretty much a, a college bar town, I mean, it's, it doesn't really seem like a town to kind of, like, uh, thrive in trying to, like, make a living and whatnot. It just seems kind of like a town to live in in passing or something like that. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, I mean, in all honesty, I've had my moments where I'm like, why am I still here? But but most of the time it's, oh, yeah, all my friends are here, so. <laughs> yeah. And that's kind of how I was with Coffeeville for the longest time. Because, like, I had, like, if you, like, actually saw the group of friends I had in person, like, you would understand how how and why I was so fucking chaotic. <laughs> mm. I mean, if you've seen all the highlight videos, you would uh, kind of get a taste of it, basically. <laughs> little, little insanity. I mean, there, I mean, at one point, there was always eight to ten people in the house and only like four only like four or five of them actually lived there sometimes there was at least 20 people as my friend px90 would say it was called the trap house always a party <laughs> pretty much oh boy uh, well um again not really that much of a format. We're just kind of like recording something to kind of get stuff going forward. Because in my update video that I explained before posting this, I'm going to have a lot of issues uh, posting a lot of new content. And to kind of add to it, uh, at the time I was recording that, uh, I still had some older content from like a year ago that I needed to get worked on. But, right after I finished recording that video, my external hard drive that I had plugged into the computer decided to not work anymore. So, it's currently with a tech guy right now, and he said he's going to have to get some extra tech help to get it fixed, and that I'm probably going to have to get a whole new external hard drive to put the data on. And that's going to cost probably almost $300 to get all that done. It's always like, <clears throat> it costs money, but it's always nice to have a backup. I know. I know. It it, it does. So right now I'm just kind of living off of the uh, internal uh, space on the computer for now. So hopefully, hopefully that is good enough to hold on to until I can get that issue resolved, which that's going to come... Uh, after I take care of the utilities that I owe, and I'm not going to get into that on here, because <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself. I've never had these issues before, but <laughs> new job yeah, sucks. shit happens. New job sucks, pretty much. Okay, so yeah, um, content-wise, uh... Mainly, I've been kind of getting, uh, right now, just flying through the RDW highlights, kind of doing the old history stuff now, getting that posted up, because those are pretty quick and easy to edit, and it gets me one step closer and gets stuff done quicker so I can get rid of that RDW channel, finally, and get everything converted over. Um, yeah. New, new content-wise, will have to come on the fly. So, well, yeah, even you were messing with the like um, sim league thing, and with your talking before we started recording about your PlayStation or whatever, not wanting to read discs, that kind of puts a hold on that one as well. Yeah, that that's another issue. After the, after I moved mm -hmm. here, my uh, disc reader on my PlayStation stopped working again. So hopefully it can resolve itself and I can start using it again. Which even if uh, it was working. Um, every time that I tried to uh, upload a video from the PlayStation to the uh, other channel that I have for a backup, it doesn't upload. And that's mainly because uh, the upload and download speed here sucks. I was going to say, I don't know anything when it comes to PlayStation anymore. Yeah, they basically have a basic bitch internet uh, package. 
Well, unless PlayStation's updated from back when I had like a PlayStation 2, their servers weren't the greatest either. Oh, yeah. I never really started uh, online anything until PS4, I think. I didn't even touch yeah, it. I didn't even bother buying a PS4. Or a PS3. Uh, a lot of that was um, just me getting it as a gift for Christmas. So I was basically on the P PlayStation family because of that. And I only have a 360 because I got it for Dead Space. And then I have an Xbox One now because Krieger sold it to me. Content-wise, uh, what do you think um, we can possibly do for the channel for new content? By playing with all the limitations? Uh, yes. Kind of having I mean, a... Other than what we're doing like right now, I'm honestly not too sure. It's kind of like a live stream uh, open discussion. Right. Do <laughs> right. uh, you still have those hot chips? Yes. Let's say I can drive up there one day. We can record it. Yeah, I still have three of the one chip challenges. Oh man, uh, I guess we'll figure something out content wise whenever Krieger gets up here. Um, yeah, we can figure something out. I yeah. mean, so there's things I want to do like creatively, but I don't think it would morph well with your this channel's stuff. Like, what do you mean? Like, I had the idea with my poetry and stuff. I'm doing the, like, cryptic-y videos to go along with them, but... I mean, like, you, they know you're part of the, the pretty much the production crew through Spotify and YouTube, so there could be, like, a separate yeah. branch. Because, I mean, the Mic Check Production right. channel is basically a variety channel for everyone. Yeah. I think that would also be actually getting off my bleep and actually working on doing those. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say... Instead of just um, leaving it as an idea in okay, my head that gonna, it will never happen. I was going to say, I'm like, some of those ideas, like, um, could work because I saw that uh, photo shoot you did out in the the creek trails the other day and it was actually yeah. pretty fucking cool <laughs> oh I like I like toying around with like fields of field of view and angles and finding like unique angles that most people wouldn't take mm -hmm. Cause a lot of that can be used as like backdrop for some of the poetry you do and then um yeah like here and there, you could be like, "Ah, oh, yes, I am the one with the dog, the plague that eats other plagues, the eater of worlds." Wait, that's Bray Wyatt. I mean, I do have a plague doctor mask <laughs> on top of all my other masks. <laughs> yeah. You can um, if you were to have like a separate branch on the channel and like record and upload the stuff, you can have like a branch on there where you kind of like went through like per video and like kind of like went through and described and explained like what each mask means to you and whatnot and why'd you made it i mean yeah because you have plenty on your wall <laughs> that could be a lot 5 10 15 20 25 30 on the wall and i think i have about another five or six that i need to hang up Hey, that's a whole... That's at least a month's worth of content there. <laughs> that's a whole right. month. That would that would probably Thanks. help me out a lot whenever I uh, my kid gets here. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, that could be an idea. I'll just, like, keep uploading videos ahead of time on the schedule, and I'll just leave open slots for you to put your stuff in. <laughs> Right. Like Monday. Okay, I have every Wednesday here open for you, and I'll give Krieger Monday. You just randomly, randomly pop something in. Krieger Monday, Lyson Wednesday, Mike Check Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Hey.
I mean, there's obviously ideas. It's, yeah. The only thing I'd be worried about is, like, Krieger might want to do a couple live streams with his Xbox buddies, and there's no filter on some of those guys. There rarely is with me, but I've tried to chill. <laughs> we are Mostly, a... especially on certain topics. We are a 60-40 family-friendly channel. 60-40. <laughs> <Right. laughs> we allow cussing. We tell some pretty bad jokes. But when it comes to this, this, some, this, and this... Some terrible sexual stories of Kriegers. Oh my god, yes. You probably got some dirt on me, too. I mean, probably... I'm. I mean, I'm the. I'm a angel. I'm You're a, an angel. Yeah, I'm an angel, just like Lucifer. <laughs> oh man! Speaking of like weird stories, um, can you recall the one time that uh, it it it's tied in with the night um that I dropped on the floor and yelled "Kitty," but uh. I'm trying. I can't remember that night that well because I blacked out. But um, yeah. Uh, shit, what happened that night? <laughs> I slept you, once or twice since then. Something about like I bought an entire tray of shots, and then I blacked out, and then I went up to go try to sing a song, or something like that. I tried to sing Nookie like uh blacked out or something like that i i vaguely recall it i recall the buying of the shots because i think me and you both bought an entire tray of shots oh that my night. god yeah because my last memory of that night was sitting at one of those round tables in the pool room and i was talking to adam and caitlin just slurring my words and just like stumbling everywhere I was talking about shots or something, and then right after that, nothing. Yeah, I think that might have been one I made a trip to the ATM. Yeah, it probably was. See, like, being blacked out drunk is, like, a weird feeling because it's like you're doing all this random, dumb, stupid shit that you shouldn't be doing because you've drank too much alcohol, but your body acts like it's asleep. I mean, if you're like me, you get like glimpses and it's almost like a movie of sorts and you just remember specific scenes. For me, because I've been blackout drunk like probably two or three times, it just, I remember, kind of remember the last thing I did and then it's like somebody just slapped a blindfold on me like super tight and it's like pitch black. And the next thing I remember is waking up. Like, so it's like Vin Diesel in space? <laughs> I guess you can put it like that. <laughs> it's not on a... somebody with a coffee cup. It's not a fun time at all, because, like, I... at least the times that I've been blacked out drunk, I've never drive. I never drove. Like never have. No, that's always a plus. That I I never. It's just... I can't honestly say that there was at least one time that I do not remember. Well, technically, I guess two because of when my sister broke her ankle or leg or whatever. Yeah. You know, having to drive, but I do not remember the actual drive and. There's one night I left the bar, felt fine, and next thing I know, I'm waking up the next day going, uh, what the fuck? It's like, how did I get home? Yeah, and it's one of those moments where you kind of, like, it kicks you in the nuts, and you're like, oh, oh shit, all oh, right. Oh, the, the, the New Year's where, um, uh, I met Autumn for the first time, uh, after New Year's <laughs> hit, you were like, hey, come to 505, and I was like, okay, and I just <laughs> showed up. And then ended up going to Taco's place after that's like three or four in the morning, 
and I remember having the hardest time trying to see while driving because it was like downpour raining. Oh yeah. And yeah. you I think lost your phone or something out in the parking lot. Was that the <clears throat> something? I don't I don't know. That was the one night that I know I like lost my phone and my food and went outside and it was sitting on the table in front of the apartment just sitting there yeah i think that uh that might that might be it and i don't remember ever going outside and sitting at the table so i don't know how it got there that might have been in the night yeah because i remember um dropping you off because it was the year Brody lee died so because I think that was the night where we started, where we made the the Dark Order handshake, where we just <laughs> probably sounds yeah. about right. Oh man, I wish I could remember so much more, but I can't. Like from you just walk around wearing like a GoPro or something. <laughs> like from the start of twenty, like from the very end of twenty fifteen to like. The like, the first fourth of last year is like all a blur, like all a blob just smushed together, and it feels like all of those nights are just blended into one. Yeah, you have those moments where we're not in our best states. <laughs> no, mine was. Slow. And our decisions are probably not helping that state any sometimes mine was longer than five years <laughs> oh my mine's been my mine was yeah probably longer in times and still occasional so speaking of like uh bray wyatt from earlier um we had a couple of uh wrestling shows happen the past couple weeks that we haven't talked about i mean where you want to start um i mean there hasn't been really anything going on with uh world wrestling entertainment other than vince mcmahon is back oh god yeah that created so much chaos on social media so much chaos yep because that's what billionaires do because like um he uh, wanted to come back originally to have his old spot back and to be reinstated. And it was like a majority vote of him basically... Pretty much not, vetoed that idea. ...not being allowed. And then he turned around with like the third grader response saying, well, then I guess you guys won't solve the the, uh, the media issue then. And then when he comes back, he boot they boot like three people off of the board well uh and bring in. three people res- uh three people got fired and two people quit yeah that should tell you something mm-hmm. but as far as i know there he's only back just to get the media cell figured out right now yeah which I don't know. should be figured out by it's... halfway through this year it's bent, so mm. I don't trust much. Yeah, I'm kind of worried if uh, the Saudi Arabia company buys them. Oh, God. Because that's one of the bidders. Yeah. I'm really that would worried. Be probably not a good thing. And then there's also Disney on the list. Oh, yeah, because Disney needs to own every. <laughs> I I remember making a joke a while back saying, "What if Disney owned Start everything?" Having, like Disney will buy WWE, and suddenly you'll have like Darth Vader in a match. <laughs> Darth Vader. Hey, they could bring back the Shocker, Shockmaster, <laughs> with hey. his bedazzled stormtrooper helmet. Hayden Christensen versus Josh Brolin. And a battle of the supervillains finest final match. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, man. 
Imagine, just just imagine, like Disney Battle Royal. You have like Donald Duck, Daffy, like well, Daffy's Looney Tunes, but Donald <laughs> Duck, Mickey Mouse. That. I think the most that Disney would do was is like um, try to. I mean, they might try to push more of the kid-friendly stuff, even though they have Alien and Predator stuff on their freaking streaming service. WWE's, like, PG is not a good thing. I mean, it's not. And, like, it's... Right now, and, they're... Like, do you see if, like, Disney did that? Do you think they would stick with bray wyatt's stuff i mean like they kind of would have to because that's that's bray wyatt's full control because he he does not want anyone messing with it doesn't mean they wouldn't get rid of him yeah and i don't see that fitting their style or genre of i mean then again Prey still on their streaming service, and that's a rated R movie. Yeah. Fair point. Yes, there are exceptions, but and De- yeah. and Deadpool uh is has like a written deal in their contract that it has to be rated R too because of Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. I think the most that Disney mm-hmm. would do is have uh the actors kind of be more involved in like a guest role like how they did the the guest host thing a while back and another terrible world's worst entertainment vince mcmahon idea i mean i feel like after they get the media sales thing done they're gonna get rid of them i would hope so I think the best bet for um, WWE would probably like I don't I I need to like pull up the whole list of like all the companies that are bidding for it because yeah I don't know I know Disney was that was about it yeah but I still think Vince McMahon Jim Cornette probably even Bruce Pritchard just need to be in a padded old folks home room mm-hmm. let them just all Vince can make them all kiss his ass and he can they can talk about how terrible modern wrestling is because of all the fl- flip floppy dudes and mm-hmm. everything and just be stuck in the 80s oh god no more Hogan's no more Hogan's. Never should Hogan never should have been in the first place. Never. Right here, um, they said they hired J.P. Morgan to help with the sale of the company. What's J.P. Morgan? Um, it's like a mortgage bank and stuff like that. Uh, um, it says right now the current most talked uh, potential buyers is um. Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, Amazon, Comcast's NBC Universal Media, and Endeavor, which is UFC's parent company. Amazon, maybe. But, also, that dude doesn't need more money. Yeah. (laughs) That dude's just... That whole... Amazon is just a... Like... The only thing it's good for is this, is the um, like convenience. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's the lo- here's the longer list. Um, Comcast, which is NBC Universal slash Peacock, Fox, yeah. Disney, Warner Brothers. Good God, it's your Let's, uh, it's Warner Brothers Discovery, uh, Netflix. Hey, Warner Brothers Discovery is what AEW is under. Mm-hmm. That's they're on their well, it used to be Ted Turner and stuff, so uh, Netflix is on the list too. In the end that would be about the same idea as Amazon. Um Amazon's next on the list. Uh there's the UFC parent company and uh 
Liberty Media, and there's also talks of the company going potentially private again after the after the sale. Mm-hmm. So out of that list, I mean, uh, what would probably be, what would probably be their best bet? In all honesty, probably Amazon or Netflix, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure about Netflix because I don't know, like. It just it they. It's just with them making their own content and then getting rid of it like two months later has been a really bad habit. Yeah, they've been very bad at canceling things without giving it a shot. I mean, there was Resident Evil, but that was rightfully canceled. So. Yeah. Um. Other than that, with World Wrestling so, Entertainment. So I'm guessing you you re- really loved that show then oh so okay it was amazing like to put it in a perspective if it's kind of it's for me it's kind of has the same problem as jason goes to hell but probably on a bigger scale because that it sucks it's (laughs) change some of the dialogue uh decrease the amount of flashbacks and make it its own separate entity that's not Resident Evil and it could have passed off as a somewhat decent show but right. it's a Resident Evil show yeah you put the name on it people expect certain things yeah like there were parts of it that like were kind of entertaining but there was a lot of it that was just kind of like all right all right let's get to the point and then there was parts that were like there is a sex or a porn reference at least once or twice in every episode <laughs> every... Yeah, i never watched it i in fact honestly at this point right now i don't even have netflix or hulu so it's, it's... They made Albert Wesker black, for one. Everything is like gender swapping. It's kind of like, had you ever? Did you ever watch the um, interview with the vampire TV series they did recently? I didn't, but I did see ads for it on YouTube a while back. Like they changed the race of all them. They made them um, homosexual, which sure, whatever. And just kind of completely changed everything, in a way. Yeah. And I mean, like, stating that Albert Wesker's black and everything, I am not saying that, like, I wasn't saying that in a bad light. It was just, I feel like... Stick to the, like, original... Like, people get so mad with, like, books, like Harry Potter and stuff. Like, oh, they don't look like the books as they look like. Yeah, but... then they do this stuff and people are perfectly fine with it. Yeah. Like, kind of double-sided there. And, like, when it... the Reviewing the Resident Evil series for me was kind of a, a different case than uh, all the other stuff that I reviewed before because I was... I, I tried to review the original six as its own entity, ignoring all of the game knowledge, ignoring all of the lore that was previously created for the franchise, like, before it... I was just trying to focus on what the the media was trying to put out as a story in its own series and trying to make it into a cohesive, coherent story itself, which they did somewhat of a decent job in the first three, three and a half movies. But then you get to the fourth one and kind of retcons itself a little bit then you get to the fifth one which is probably the worst one out of the six and then the sixth one is a little bit more of a walk in the park than than five but it's still bad and it retconned itself again in the first five minutes so it retconned itself twice and trust me that was a huge huge pain to get through like 
it thinking about it now hurts my brain but when you get to uh welcome to raccoon city and it's kind of like a breath of fresh air into the theatrical media of resident evil because everything there did feel like a video game everything there felt like it was trying to follow a lore that already existed and it tried to create some new elements that some may or may not have worked but it was more entertaining i guess you can say than the original six if that makes sense because i don't know if you ever saw welcome to raccoon city i don't think so yeah it came out like on it came out like on a limited release like a couple of years ago like in november yeah i don't yeah i don't think i've seen it like i said i kind of lost interest in after like the second or third one and i think i watched the fourth one afterlife <laughs> yeah and then yeah i was just kind of like eh whatever and then you get to the Netflix series, and it's a completely whole different ball game. They tried to pretty much modernize everything, and <laughs> not in a good way. So, kind of like the modern version of the Chucky doll. While the movie was alright, the doll looked terrible. Yeah, like, that would probably be, like, one of the best uh, examples of it is, like, it's like a modern take on a, a horror movie or a horror franchise. Uh, they made it more, like, today times and whatnot, and then also tried to make it very, very futuristic, too, but it looked like they were in the apartment the the rich fancy apartment block of California. <laughs> and like they did like, talk about like the incident at the at the old Raccoon City and they're living in the new Raccoon City and everything and yada yada yada. And there was a lot of like cliffhanger storylines that could have been interesting to see. And like a season two, but it it just did so poorly that it's never going to come to light. There's not very many good, like, movies or shows that are based off of, like, video games. Except, stuff, so. except for Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I still haven't even watched it, but I have heard good things about oh, it. Oh, man, like... I'm kind of worried about the like i've never even played um what is the last of us or whatever it is so yeah and they're making the series with it yeah um but. i will say that jim carrey is kind of a saving grace of the movies if there's anything that people don't like in that movie jim carrey saves it <laughs> He plays a really good Dr. Eggman, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, it could be Doom. Which one? Is that Doom or Dune? Doom. Oh, yeah. R which one? Because there's been several Doom movies. How uh, many, like, was it the... Yeah, it was The Rock that was in it. Oh, you mean the movie called Sneak? Because <laughs> all they do is sneak down dark corridors <laughs> in darkly yeah. blue light. That movie was terrible. Oh man, I think I have it on disc, right? I think I, yeah, I have it on disc because somebody gave me like a full like CD traveling book full of movies one day. <laughs> and yeah, it's I think I there. might have that one myself on like DVD. <laughs> Which is how I first watched it. So I was like, oh, The Rock, yeah, great. And I like the game, all right. And then it was, no, nope, disappointment. Nope. It was, it, there was, there's nothing special about it. It's more of a, it's more of a good movie to laugh at. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least we can say that it's not no CGI levels of Scorpion King, or was it the Mummy 2 or something? Was it Scorpion King or Mummy 2 that had the bad CGI of The Rock? Mum, mummy 2. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he was like the giant, like, scorpion, actual scorpion, <laughs> with The Rock's head-ish. Like his head to his waist he was like a centaur like scorpion kind of thing just crawling around the tomb S scorp scorp tar <laughs> something that's uh, ripped out of a uh, out of a diablo one playstation video game <laughs> right <laughs> and didn't even look as good as playstation one graphics oh my god you could probably sit through a minecraft session other than that yeah <laughs> and I hate Minecraft. So <laughs> Love the creativity that you can have in that game, but I hate the way it looks. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of Rock, uh, have you heard some of the drama involving him and the Warner Brothers stuff? I don't think so. So, like, Black Adam came out, and then they were saying that it was a box office success and everything... Well, a couple weeks later, there were reports coming out saying that, you know, it's all a lie and everything. Um, the Rock and uh, some of the crew were putting out fabricated uh, news articles saying it was a success when it was actually a box office bomb and, and whatnot. I mean, from everything I've seen, it pretty much bombed. Um, and then they... After that, they pretty much rebooted the the DC oh. universe again, and pretty much fired yeah. everyone. Mm -hmm. And then everyone, I mean, I guess I can kind of include myself in this, everyone's pissed off that Superman got fired. Well, I'm pretty sure I've said my piece about Superman and my dislike of the man that is not so super and not even a man. <laughs> He's an alien. He's an alien, and anybody else from his planet has basically the exact same powers, which doesn't seem that super to me. <laughs> it's like Goku. Yeah. <laughs> Only Goku would kick Superman's ass. That's not what a death battle says. Twice. Well, what do they know? <laughs> they go off of... Illogical comic book knowledge. Yeah, well, get. I had, a, I had a friend that would sit there and say Batman would beat anybody if you gave him like two weeks to prepare. I would say a week, not two weeks. Yeah, well, yeah, give him a week. Just let him find some some of a little rock, and Superman's gone. Yeah, I would say a week prep time, and Batman could probably do it. That's another thing with Superman. Your your biggest weakness is a rock. <laughs> like, <laughs> like a little kid just, oh my god, look at this rock. And you're like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've never been a fan of Superman. Oh, what was another... Um death battle that I watched that didn't make any sense uh, there was one they did with uh, Sephiroth and Virgil Virgil from uh, Devil May Cry well, May. and yeah. they were saying that Sephiroth would beat him I mean that would probably be a fairly close good one that would I be questionable. feel like Virgil would beat him because he's half demon yeah but yeah right so, and they weren't using no, 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 they were, yeah. they weren't using the the DMC remake Virgil. They were using the the original one. Original. If it was the yeah D the original yes. If it the was remake, no. Yeah, if if it was the DMC uh, Virgil, where he's half demon, half Nephilim, I feel like that would be a different ball game. Yeah. 
because that's half demon, half angel, pretty much, and Sephiroth wouldn't have a chance. Right. But that like, is one wing. But like they, they were saying, like with Virgil's like greediness of wanting more power would be his downfall, and I'm like, isn't that every super villain's downfall? Yeah. Right. Like they're all even more Sephiroth. Power. Even Sephiroth. Yeah. And they were like, oh, well, this is, this is why, and that's why, yada, yada. And I'm like, no. 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 Vir Vir Virgil, even OG Virgil, would wipe the floor with Sephiroth. Yeah. And spit dry it clean. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. I don't know. Again, they were using. Plus, I'm a big fan of. I'm a huge fan of those games of DMC. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's not that I'm not a fan of Sephiroth and like Final Fantasy VII. It's just. You can't put Virgil and him, in the same room and say he, Sephiroth wins. There was one they did with, uh, Deadpool and the Mask. But then it would be, uh, who's wearing the mask? Um, I think they were using the original guy. Like so the guy the that Jim Carrey Jim was playing. Jim Carrey's character. Yeah, the, okay. the guy that Jim Carrey was playing in the movie. Because, depending on who's wearing the mask, it could be completely different. Mm-hmm. And they were saying, like, with this cartoony comic book like abilities would pretty much wipe Deadpool out of existence right that one I can kind of see I can I can see that maybe yeah I could I could agree to an extent yeah cuz I think they were physically trying to find someone to that they that could beat Deadpool but <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, yeah, wrestling, uh, <laughs> we got totally off track, <laughs> um, yeah. uh, back to uh, wrestling entertainment, nothing's really going on until the rumble, um, yeah, and even, even really the freaking Bray Wyatt story hasn't really moved along too much, I mean, it has, it has. Yeah, but nothing major step. Like, okay, yeah, Uncle Howdy appeared, but... And somebody else, because that, okay. uh, that, that second guy that came out the week after was not Uncle Howdy. He had a yeah. completely different mask on, and he looked maybe, like, about 50 pounds lighter. But, I mean, yeah, outside of that, like... I mean... I'm enjoying the story. I mean, yeah, I'm liking the story. I'm really digging just, the story. It's, it's just fickle people with short span, uh, short attention spans that don't like it. Right. And I think part of Bray's thing is he's trying to do the long-term story. See, and that's why when I was talking to Krieger the other night, um, I was saying that with WWE trying to kind of copy... AEW's pay-per-view schedule it's going to kind of hurt hurt them in the long run because I think their fan base isn't used to long-term storylines yeah, which is something AEW fans are mm -hmm. but then you get the people right. who are like oh cool he made a reference about to somebody that happened last year I'm glad they remember certain things what? yeah but what? then they don't remember what happened the week before I mean, as of late, it's been getting better when it comes to that. Yeah. Unless you're Johnny Gargano and you kind of wipe him off the face of the earth. Right. Yeah, somebody was like, did Johnny Gargano just, like, die or something? I mean, he's back. He's back. He's what? He's, Where? he's gone. He got replaced by Bronson Reed. Or yeah. um, Jonah. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, congratulations, you got another person that 
honestly never really made much of a impact on me, pun intended. <laughs> I mean, he has some good matches against PCO. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember much of the stuff think, that happened in Japan. I think that more says something more about PCO because I mean that dude's like how old and is still going and doing crazier stuff than people like a third of his age. Yeah, like it, um, wasn't he signed with WWE like back in the eighties? He was part of the Quebecers. And then he just disappears for God knows how long. Well, he retired for a while, I'm pretty sure. And, and then, then he came, came back, back as PCO. And he was... Yeah, he came back as the um, Canadian Frankenstein like thing. And... and then he got huge in Ring of Honor and ended up going to Impact when that kind of went out. The, the Honor door until... thing. TK bought it. Yeah. AEW. What's been going on there? Um, well... That's where he goes, oh, quite a bit. <laughs> it matters how far back we want to go. I might have to think some more. But, I mean, you've had the best of seven trios matches. Yeah, they got one more to go, right? One more is... How do they say it? Escalera... De La Moites or whatever, basically a ladder death match. What the stuff. hell's a ladder death match? A very chaotic ladder match, pretty much. Which is going to be entertaining, considering how after the New Japan stuff with Kenny Omega, hopefully he's not too banged up with his eye and yeah. stuff. Yeah, like he did He did um, Wrestle Kingdom and then he went on to do a tag team match with uh, Okada. Yeah, with like, Okada at the uh, um, New Year's Dash or whatever. And what, wasn't that like a couple days later? Yeah, well, I think. Yeah, it was like a day or two later. <laughs> it's like, dude. Which I still need to watch that one. I haven't watched the New Year's Dash one. I'm kind, of th I'm kind of thinking myself. We'll say dude. Wrestle Kingdom did reignite my like love for New Japan stuff. So. Except for um, a certain uh, somebody. M Monet, Monet, Money, or what? However you say, whatever name that is. I would say like your. I guess you can bank on Monet. Your di your strong dislike for Jade Cargill is like my strong dislike for Sasha Banks except I want Sasha Banks to drop off the face of the earth, retire, go to a new, uh, go to back to Snoop Dogg's basement <laughs> and cry herself to sleep. Me with, like, me with Jade, it's just boring. Yeah. I, I will say, though, last week, the match with, um, Sky Blue, that ending combination was actually impressive. I think I missed it was that. like, um, it was like a power bomb well she went for like a hurricane she's or some her corona she like spun her around in like a power bomb and then tossed her up and caught her to do the jaded or whatever the hell she calls the implant buster or whatever like style freaking move the beth phoenix finisher pretty much yeah but yeah that combination in that was actually impressive mm -hmm. outside of that it was a jade cargill match it was boring even the oh red velvet turning on her and stuff oh uh is she gonna yeah, be who, the one to give her her first loss i'm like i honestly could care less i'm jade cargill got pushed way too early when she was green and it just killed any care i have for her right now i think that they're they're gonna write themselves into a corner with jade because like they've almost yeah. roman reigns her pretty much yeah they need to like have her lose the title disappear for a while maybe come back and do something else i don't yeah, know but, but who's who's on the roster that could beat her because like i don't know who can in a, in a real life match 99 percent of them 
I mean, I mean, like, choreographed and everything, because, like, she's, she's, again, she's Roman Reigns herself into a corner to where, like, yeah. no one can touch her. I mean... Like, she even beat Nyla Rose. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. That's, like, the only big thing in AEW that I'm just, nah, I don't care about. But, I mean, you had, besides all that, besides the trios title things, you got um, Darby Allen winning, beating Samoa Joe. For the... Winning back the TNT title. Yeah, which I thought was, like, too soon, but you said that he won it, like, two or three months ago, which, thinking about now, that kind yeah, of makes had, more sense. Yeah, he had won it in, like, November. Mm-hmm. So. Like, it was kind which of Which, honestly, I wouldn't even have known if I think it was Excalibur mentioned it during the match. Yeah. Didn't they write off Wardlow off TV for a minute? I mean, he's... I, I haven't really seen him for a couple weeks, so, I mean, kind of, sort of. Like, I don't remember them really doing anything, but... I mean, they cut off his ponytail. Yeah, they did that, but, yeah. Oh, my God, like, what is he? Is all the strength in his hair? Is he going to turn it to... Are they going to turn him to the actual Goldberg? Right. Come back bald. Standing in some sparks. <laughs> Standing in some sparks, waving his arms up and down like he's Ryback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll ask to be fed more. This is war. This is war. <laughs> and this I. This is war. Feed me more. And now I have yeah, ruined. Right. So there you go. I, I have ruined Wardlow for you. I apologize. <laughs> With one of the most tough. Really, that's the. Those three things are probably the biggest thing. A lot of people are talking about the. Most likely, Sasha Banks end up being Soraya's partner. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Which uh, I mean, eh, I'm more interested in. Most likely seeing her Hikaru Shida go hill or something and attack Tony Storm. Yeah, cause like because like because of the disrespect of the I'm with the greatest wrestlers, so that means Tony. Well, her her yeah, Shida's just sitting there going, "Uh, what the hell?" I mean, like they have like they haven't really done anything with her since she lost the title. I mean, true, yeah. Like, she kind of deserves more. Yeah. And th I think that's... Um, I'm going to kind of pull a bit of a, a debate, I, I think, on this one. But I think that's one thing that AEW needs to continue to work on is their women's division. Yeah, absolutely. Because, like, it, it's there. It's entertaining it's just i feel like it hasn't really hit its potential they have yet. the people they have the actual talented people too on top of just all the people that they need to actually like push it something tells Instead me mostly, that they need pretty to much all you see is like Britt baker her little crew and Paige Sh Shreya and stuff yeah cause they always focus on the new signee for like three months yeah which you know I guess you do uh, another thing that I guess is happening is you got the um MJF doing his usual jump through the hoops to get a match against me with Brian Danielson yeah stuff because which the i think you said it was going to be a 60 minute iron man match right yeah that is what brian danielson when he accepted it he said i will do that only if i get to name the stipulation and it's a 60 minute 
Iron Man match because I want to prove you do not have the cardio and you are not the talent that you think you are, basically. Yeah, and that's going to be the first ever so, Iron Man match for AEW, I think. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe. Well, wasn't Pac in one? 60 minute, probably. No, that was. I don't think they've that, done a sixty minute. No, that was a time limit. Have. That was a time limit draw between Pac and somebody else. Yeah. It was either. Um, oh, oh! I think we have a Hangman Page a wild, or Omega. Wild. Never appear. Third the great person is here. There he is, about an hour late into the podcast. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I I, uh, I I warned the listeners that you were going to be a little late and everything. <laughs> I don't know if you guys were going to start without me or yeah. not. But... Yeah, we went ahead and just kind of started just to kind of get yeah. stuff going. Um, so, uh, Krieger, welcome back. <laughs> sir. Um, just have a good new year. I'm sitting here with a bottle of whiskey. Uh, yeah, we've we've kind of shared our stories and shared some other stories involving New Year's or alcohol. Uh, I guess since you have jumped in, um, we'll, we'll backtrack a little bit. Uh, what did you do for New Year's? Uh, so, um, the reason I was late, I was playing Smite with some of my buddies. And on New Year's, um, I got my buddies that I usually play Smite with to ditch all of their holiday plans. Um, and we all played smite and got drunk as fuck <laughs> oh my god and how many of your, uh, how many of your buddies did you make ditch their plans uh three of them jesus so of christ wow and uh we started drinking about seven o'clock and we didn't stop till about three <laughs> <laughs> do you re- and the more drunk we got the better we were <laughs> i was gonna say or, do you remember anything I bought a new thing of Elijah Craig, and it's about half gone right now. Good like, I was, God. I was, I was drinking. Well, sorry, just the thought of alcohol right now is just makes me makes my stomach flip. Bruh. Um. So so yeah. So that was my New Year's because you know, um, I had some random chick online that was like, "You should come out to my New Year's party," and I was like, "Yeah, I'm good." No, I'm good. I'm just gonna so. get drunk with my buddies on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that sounds like a much funner time. Drunken <laughs> gaming. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's nothing better than drunken gaming. I mean, I mean, it is it, it is fun playing like um, Mario Kart as a drinking game. So, uh, I have a cool new thing that I was doing. I have a character that has a bunch of knockups, and there's a cooldown reduction thing you can do. So I did a build for that. So all of my cooldowns are about four seconds. So I'm just a big elephant that consistently just like silences people or knocks them up. Just there's nothing they can do about it. Just continually do that. You're still playing that elephant, dude. Damage. Yeah, dude. I got I got him down. He's a fuck. He's a gangster. Oh my god. <laughs> I just got this new skin for Loki, who I play in the jungle, and it's a, he's a little frog. He's, he's called Toki. <laughs> Or shouldn't it be like croaky? Croaky. It's a croaky, frog. actually. You're right. It is croaky. I could, I mean, it started with a C, but I couldn't remember exactly what it was. But So, some of the things you Wait. missed. Um, we, we were talking about wrestling a little bit uh, before you hopped on. Uh, we kind of discussed um, a little bit of the, the Warner Brothers issues that are going on with DC and everything. Uh, we also... Um, he, he had me explain, I guess, my experience with everything Resident Evil wise when it comes to, uh, theatrical media and <laughs> kind of went into like, like what's been going on as of late since the last, uh, podcast episode. And then me kind of explaining that, uh, um, content wise for the channel, cause this episode is going to go on the channel as well, that for newer content wise, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me because, um, of my whole hard drive issue that's going on and whatnot. So I was asking him, uh, if there was anything that he could probably, uh, help put onto the channel if he wanted to. Cause I even thought about the idea of like, you know, maybe sometime in the future, this might work while, um, my, uh, kids here, and everything uh, I can 
upload on a certain day like every Friday and kind of build up off of that and then like give you guys a time slot like give give you Monday and him Wednesday to do content or something like that like streaming whatever like he had the idea for me like explain showing and maybe explaining the stories and ideas behind some of the mask I make yeah and I have the idea of doing my poetry and making like cryptic -y videos to go along with them which he said Stuff, that like which... he said he wasn't sure if it would work or anything but like i mean the chan the my check yeah, productions was... it's a variety channel of pretty much anything <laughs> yeah i've so. got to get my computer set up mm -hmm. so. so like i didn't know if like if there was anything you can get set up on to help possibly do that when it when like the time comes for when my uh my kid gets yeah. here because that could be any time between you know, next month to uh, May. Um, do you know? You know what I noticed, and this might be a little bit off topic. Uh, actually, you know what? I won't. I won't go off topic too much. Let's stay on topic. Right? We got time for random. I stuff. mean, like I was uh, just gonna. I was asking if there's anything that you would want to put for the channel content-wise. If I gave you like a time a time slot um, or a day per week. I've got I've got plenty of uh, single player stuff that I can do playthroughs on that I can sh probably streaming until I get my computer set up would be a more viable option. Yeah. Um, because you know uh, how, how it is. Easier. So uh, probably just like a live stream on a certain day of playing playing a certain game or playing games online. Yeah, because like one of games. one of the things that I because uh, I already told him that this is kind of like a live uh, discussion. I just don't have a mic set up yeah thing, you know like it's like a live discussion for like the viewers to listen to that way they know kind of have an idea like maybe what's going to happen but uh one of yeah. the things that i was concerned about is if you were to go into like a a live stream party and then your mm -hmm. no filter friends decide to go in jump in and go hello my name is such and such and blankety blank blanks uh, are blank <laughs> Yeah, if I was to stream audio for any of them, I would tell them, hey, I gotta, you know, if you guys do say anything inappropriate, I'm just gonna have to mute you uh, so you don't, you're not on the stream. Yeah. Like anyone that I can't trust, but I only hang out with, I only hang out with a couple people and they're pretty chill. Um, they probably don't care. And we honestly don't really, we don't really cuss a whole lot or anything. So, well, I mean, like, it's like, anyways, like I, I more even... so I'd gear it towards my single player, probably the single player experience, like, <laughs> of the games that I'm trying to be. Like, right now, if I was to do it today, I'd be like, okay, well, I'm, I'm playing Far Cry 3, you know, that's a, go through and do Far Cry 3 or do some Hitman stuff or, you know, things like that. Like, I was telling him earlier that, like, we're kind of like a 60-40 family-friendly channel because, like, we kind of let certain things we get away with, like the language and certain jokes and topics, but there's also some topics that we don't really want to touch on. <laughs> Politics and religion. Yeah. Um, yeah those were the main ones I was saying. Like, I didn't specify, but I'm like, I can be pretty, yeah, on certain things. Yeah, like yeah, you're. I was uh, gonna you're... say, if you want it to be a rant tangent on politics, I'm sure that we could do like, some stuff. Like, but... it, it, would, it would be possible, but you might have some. You'd, you would alienate some cult. Base. You might have some culty people that wouldn't be happy. I was gonna say like yeah, or just anti-culty people. Just just go look you know on I mean? licensed Facebook wall and you'll understand. <laughs> yeah. um, Pretty much. But anyways, uh, but yeah, I think I think one thing you should definitely do is the easiest thing is to continue doing like a weekly podcast. Yeah. Even if your time gets up, and then because the videos will take more time. So. Yeah, because right now that, I've been regular. I've been currently still doing the RDW highlight videos because like they're so, they're easy to get because I'm just getting them off right. of the old uh, RDW channel and then just editing them down again. For now, since I have the the content issue. Since I was late to the show, you want me to catch up with some of my stuff, and I have actually have a couple of things I I, I kind of want to. I mean, sure, go ahead. Like, if you have any stories to share, go for it because you're the one that you're the one that tells the best stories. <laughs> yeah, we were literally oh, just talking around something. So. Um. So, uh, and I actually I don't know if you guys. Well, I'll I'll talk about the wrestling thing here in a second because I wanted to talk to you guys about your thoughts on some things. If you covered it, or I'm sure you covered it, but anyways, um, so, for, yeah. so for me, 
um, recently. Uh, you know, I got a uh, a recliner for Christmas, like Lazy Boy one. I finally put my chair together. I got this table, but uh, a coffee table, but I didn't put it together yet. I kind of talked about that before. But coffee table. Um, I almost every time I have some kind of funny hookup story thing. I don't have one of those because I I just haven't been engaged in talking to anyone for a little bit. You can talk about your apartment uh, issues. Oh yeah, those. <laughs> see, it's been. How long has it been since our last podcast? Because um, it seems so like that we recorded. So here's the thing. Um, so we recorded that one with uh, Spaguli Dude, which that episode got recorded onto the external hard drive. And until I get the three hundred dollars to get it fixed and get back to me, that three hundred dollars. Yeah. So like, here here's the thing. So I gave it to the tech guy, and he said that like he would be able to get it fixed for like eighty bucks. But uh, I guess the amount of issues that it has now, he's going to have to need to get some extra tech help to get it done. And I would have to get a, a new external hard drive to get everything copied over to it in order for it to be able to save everything, which is going to be like $280. No, you can get, you can get, how, how big do you need? Two mm-hmm. terabytes? The one I have, the one that he has now that I have was two terabytes. So I've got a I've got a six terabyte more. I, I, yeah, dude. I and look, go to Walmart in the clearance section. They have it all the time. Um, I the external that I have right now is the six terabyte one that I got for one forty. Yeah. So get, look and look on Amazon and uh, egg, you can find it cheaper. Just it just needs to be well. No, that two eighty that two hundred eighty dollars is the amount that I need to like pay for for it to get fixed. Not the hard oh, drive itself. Okay. Not counting a new hard drive that has to be counted. Not counting the hard drive because he he even explained to me saying that I can Bro. get a, I can get a two terabyte hard drive or something higher that's like it on might sale be better for cheaper. Just to re-record whatever was on there. Oh my goodness! I don't even know if I, I just say that that, that, that shit's lost. You know that's not that's not really worth the two eighty because you're not going to get two eighty back from that from uploading it. You know. I know. I mean, like. I mean, like, and I already explained to him saying like it's gonna be a while until I actually get the money to get it to get to him. So, yeah. Also, but anyways. Also, so, uh, bef- I, yeah. before you, before you go on, um, apologies to the listeners that are listening to this. If you hear screaming children, I'm at my grandparents' house and they're back from church. But you're gonna say if you hear screaming children, relax. They're locked in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> we get out. Sharing the basement okay. with Sasha Banks and Sue Snoop Dogg's house. Gag on them, it'll be okay. They'll be gagged in a minute. It's okay. They got some shot callers on they're, them. They should be going off any second. Now. They're, um, they're, they're sharing they're, the basement. They're taking their daily dose of chloroform. They'll be okay. Don't worry. Um. But anyway, so yeah. So no random hookup story. I'm just taking a break till the weather gets a little bit nicer. Um. Let me think. Uh. Yes, my apartment flooded for several days. On Christmas. Um, and. On Christmas Day, and they didn't respond to the emergency line, and it, it, it was a whole deal. Um, so I've got it all clean now, except there's still a hole in the wall, a drywall that they have to fix. And that's it. So everything else is good. And the um, management changed, did, too. Yeah, they fired the old manager, and I chewed out the new manager for like a week straight. And I'm probably going to chew her out tomorrow again. Um, but anyways, uh, what was... Oh, okay. So I actually have a couple things. Um, so for, Chris, for Christmas, I had a um, a gift card that I got from my mom for a hundred dollars for Cabela's. Um, so I was able to get, uh, and I I ordered online, so they ship right to me. One flannel coat thing, <laughs> two regular flannels, and some wool socks that are really nice. So I ordered them. It said they came in, and but the picture on the UPS was just like they covered the camera and my stuff was never there like i was home when it was supposed to be delivered and it was never delivered yeah so i somebody stole it so i called them and they shipped me some new ones um and uh they took the picture this time and the products were at my door and i picked up the product but um only the the plaid coat was there and the other products were gone so um that's that's like 200 dollars worth of stuff that they've stolen now Either it was stolen or they messed up at UPS. the 
the uh, no, they, just, they took a picture of the boxes, and the boxes had all the product. Somebody just took the <laughs> some of the boxes this time and said, Jesus, oh, yeah. that's why I don't live in big cities. <laughs> yeah, like, that's... I'm surprised that isn't an issue more living in an apartment complex like I do, but yeah. It's and there's a only, there's... only issue I have is the actual delivery people not delivering it to my apartment. See, they're delivering it to my apartment, but I'm pretty sure my neighbors are stealing it. Like, I mean, like that—that's what I kind of think about sometimes for uh, for you, Lyson, whenever you order like the vinyls and stuff and everything, because like, mm -hmm. like you you can like yeah, like some of those vinyls are probably like fifteen twenty bucks on the internet, but like. I mean, people, some are, but people can I've probably ordered, like, 50 dollars ones, too. Yeah, like, people can probably turn around and sell those for, like, 80 to to 100 bucks. And some like, of them, especially the autographed ones I've gotten and stuff like that. Yeah. Or the, yeah, so the I, amp you got. I need... So, yeah, so, yeah. I, I don't know. I might start just having them deliver it to the office or something or have it sent to the fucking UPS place and I'll go pick it up. Yeah, that might be uh, the best good. option. See, I uh, would... I always had the issue that they would drop it off at the office front door, but no yeah. one's been in that office since the new people bought it, like, a year and a half ago. No one's been in that office a single day. <laughs> Well, see, the thing in my old apartment that I had that was really bad was that the exterior, you needed a key to get in before you went inside. So you didn't have to worry about people stealing your packages if they get inside, but there's no way for the people to get inside, so they just wouldn't deliver your packages. That was a mouthful, but okay. Yeah, it's... yeah. I mean, I almost, that amp that I won, cause I, uh, I don't know if Krieger knew, but yeah, I had won a $600 guitar amp, yeah. yeah. But when the people sent it, I realized they didn't have the apartment number on it. Oh. So they had, I had to contact them because FedEx wouldn't let me change it, and then they changed it, and then they're like, okay, now it's going to be delivered on Friday instead of Tuesday, I think it was, or Wednesday, whichever it was. And then I come home, like Wednesday or Tuesday, and it's freaking here, and I'm like, oh, all right. Yeah. Um, I, was half, I was half kind of hoping I would have gotten another one on Friday. <laughs> but I'm glad I at least had that coat because that's so nice and that's such a good deal. If you guys go to Cabela's right now, they're doing a seasonal deal where it's $20 for a freaking flannel coat. It's really nice. But anyways. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> not <no>. sponsored. <laughs> Use our promo code JRE at the bottom. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> this ain't JRE. We ain't going to talk about that. Um, what the fuck was I saying next? Okay, so I got that fixed. I got that done. Um, I'm selling my washer and dryer to my brother, I guess, for two hundred bucks. So didn't you that. just get those like so, a year ago? Yeah, I paid one hundred and twenty-five for both of them, and uh, well, it's been like two, two or three years now. But um, but I live in an apartment. I'm not planning on moving for a little bit, so I don't need them. How much you sell um, them to your brother? Two hundred total. <laughs> So, you do 400, I'll sell them to you under them. <laughs> <laughs> the good old but, classic Krieger. Buy them for 100 bucks and sell them for double. <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> Make the monies. Um, so I got that. Um, I, I haven't, I've worked one day all week, and I, got, I logged 42 hours this week because I had to use up all my vacation time. I actually looked at my steps today. And um, in the last week, I've walked about maybe 900 steps. Um, the one day I worked, I worked in, in the middle of that. I, I walked 18,000 steps for a reference between how active I normally am versus how active I am now. I was gonna say like every day I work, I get over 6,000. Yeah, um, a regular day for me, which is a big store, so I have to walk more, is about 18,000. So. My feet hurt sometimes. Um, but anyway. Um, but yeah, Lazy Boy Recliners, I would definitely recommend them. Um, promo code. <laughs> no. At the bottom. No, 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 no. Uh, Mike's going to get six cease and desist letters on his, in his mail. Probably. Um, 
Um, anyways, so, um, and now, uh, since I did take a bunch of time off, um, my, like, my two weeks of, like, days off that you would normally get lined up, so I had four days off in a row after I took my vacation time. Mm -hmm. Um, so I am now working for the next eight days in a row. Oh. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited about that. Woo! Uh, um... That's the most of it. Uh, we're getting ready for the season, new season at work, and I'm in charge of all of that, which is fun. Uh, okay, so, uh, McMahon. Yeah, we kind of touched base on that, but we, yeah, I kind of want to hear your opinion on it. Uh, yeah. Hostile takeover to sell it to uh, <laughs> Eric Bischoff is what I heard. <laughs> well, I pulled up the list for the most potential, like the, the potential buyers and like there's like NBC. well there's uh comcast which is nbc universal slash peacock there's fox disney uh warner brothers discovery netflix amazon uh the parent company of ufc endeavor uh liberty media and then uh saudi arabia's public investment fund yeah anywho so yeah, so we touched on that, so I won't talk too much on that. I mean, um, like, well, I was gonna ask you, like, if, oh. if there was if there was one on that list, like, who do you think would be like the best option uh, that they would go for? UMBC. You say NBC? Yeah. Why is that? Um. Well, they've already got their partnership with the Peacock streaming and everything. I think it'd be the best, like, seamless transition. Fox Sports makes sense too. Um. I go through of those, but uh, you know, Fox Sports is close to Fox, which is Fox News, which is uh, insane people. So, um, <laughs> not to politicize any, but anyways, um, I just had another thing that I was gonna talk about. Oh, I guess it could make sense. Wrestling is fake, just like Fox News. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Uh, uh, Mike's nervous laugh, <laughs> laughter ensues. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when my apartment was flooded, there was about three days where they didn't come out before they could fix it, and my carpet was fucked up. So I just bought a new vacuum, a really nice new Eureka vacuum, and I was like, you know what? I, I wonder if, you know, I could just go ahead and just great with water, yeah, vacuum up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it definitely vacuums it up. The only problem is I left it in there for about four or five days, and it stunk like a mother... It's all sewage and stuff. Oh, my God. Um, and it's like the mouse it in the trash oh. bag all over again. Yeah, it was so bad. And, yeah, so, anyways. I it's can all just, good now. Part, I, I can just imagine, itself. like, an o this, this is a complete over-exaggeration on this whole story, but I can just imagine, like... Uh, you go into your apartment and then opening the door and like a huge like wave of like water like a tidal wave of like water just come oh, bowling out of your th out of your door like, like the shining blood Bro, the, the, the thing the, elevator the, the thing. thing is i came back in the house and i thought to myself man it smells kind of musty in here my uh my air fresheners must have ran out while i was gone i'm gonna go get a shower real fast because there's a long drive so i went in there i took a shower and i got out and i was like wow this kind of smells like doo-doo like what's going on and i walked out and i just i just heard a dripping noise and my sinks were overflowing and the the water was going all the way into the living room and i was like ow that's not supposed to happen <laughs> but no like open the door and it's like a tidal wave of water just like pushes out into like well, the world and like you just see like your dog just swimming on top of it towards you <laughs> i went to my i, I went past my neighbor's uh, place to go do some laundry or whatever, and and it was wet all the way out in the hallway. So Jesus. there's probably got backed up too. I don't know. A, a pipe never burst. It was the continual issue that was already happening with the hot water heater. All, all the lines were backed up, and it just happened to hit hit as soon as I got back from vacation. Good God. Um, all they had to do was run a snake down it, but they had to cut a hole in my wall to get to the damn pipe. So. But anyways, uh, that happened. That was the thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, those were the those were kind of the dealios. Um, I've just been real lazy lately. No new movies at all. 
Uh, I have been going through. Uh, I finished Andor, mm-hmm. which was the new Star Wars thing, and then I watched uh, Rogue One again. Andor makes Rogue One even better. So if you get a chance, watch them both. Yeah, because you're um, the, you're the then, guy that's been like you're pretty much the Star Wars guy when it comes to all this stuff. <laughs> I've been slowly w- watching Marvel too. I, I'm I'm up to Age of Ultron. Now. Oh boy, Age of Ultron. You're gonna have to let me know if that movie still looks good or if it's it's actually as bad as I think it is. Sorry, I just I just kind of if uh, if you open Disney Plus while you're on Discord, it starts fucking up. Um, <laughs> That's what happens when Disney like, buys out everything. Bro, they're it's yeah, awesome. just like we don't own this. You can't use it, bro. Uh, so with it, whenever you have like a PVR on to record stuff, it's you know it, it it's always plugged in and you only it's only on when you go to your computer and turn it on. Yeah. But if you just have that plugged in, Disney won't let you play any other stuff. <laughs> like, like you can like Netflix just it, it it like it won't let you record. Like you try to hit record. That it sounds like a copyright it issue. Is well, yeah, they're trying to keep people from just recording their stuff, but, mm-hmm. which, like, most apps, but they're, like, super Nazis. I have to unplug the HDMI cord every time I go to watch Disney. <laughs> like, anyways. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so on Star Wars, I am just about done with Empire Strikes Back. And on Marvel, I am almost done with Age of Ultron. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was saying yeah. that... Um... If uh, you're gonna have to let me know if that movie is actually good, or if it's still, or if it's still as bad as I thought it was. Which one? Age, Age of Ultron. Ultron. I'm mostly through it. It's good. I don't know. Like, I really enjoy. It. I still need to go back and watch it again because, like, I mean, to this day, I still can't pinpoint why I have so many issues with that movie. There's nothing bad about it. It just uh, it, it feels thing, it feels weak. That I've always. The only thing I've always okay, honestly, from watching Ultron versus the original Avengers, I, I I'll watch Ultron ten times out of ten. Um, I th- I didn't like the original Avengers near as much as I like Ultron. Um, and, and what David Spade that that is that his name that that's not his name. David the actor Spade. That, that, that not David Spade. David Spade. The guy who plays <laughs> who voices Ultron is such a good fucking no, no, actor. yeah that's definitely that's yeah da- that's totally that's, david spade um, that's david i want spade. it to be ja- david that's james spade. james spader i, I think. want it to be now spader yeah i think so spader, but i okay. want it to be david spade now uh, okay, yeah close but he the oh. best voice actor if you ever want a fucking villain it's so yeah. good um yeah, this guy oh that's yeah, the guy from yeah, blacklist I, yeah, he, he's from Blacklist. He's also Robert California from The Office. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the the really creepy guy that just is insinuating everything with sex in life? Yeah, yes. That's him. Um, but anyway, so yeah, no, that movie is solid. I love it. Uh, the only My only thing, and I hate this consistently through some of the Marvel thing, is the awkward, like, Forced relationship that they're trying to do with with Black Widow and Hulk. I never liked that. It just never seemed yeah, really to fit. That that feel. I feel like that was one of the issues that I had with the movie is that like they tried to make that a thing, but it it did. The guy who know. plays Bruce Banner just doesn't have the chemistry with her, and it doesn't seem like he actually wants that. It seems like she's just continually hitting on him, on her, on him, and he's like, "Well, you're hot." Well, I I think if they if if they would have actually came to terms and if they would have came to terms and made a yeah. made a better deal with Edward Norton, then I think it would have worked. Cuz yeah, I feel like Edward Norton had better cat. chemistry. Yeah, that that guy how he betrayed him just made him seem like he's somebody who should never have sex. Just, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. That's just just the way he betrays him. What's that? Incel. It's like uh fuck virgin. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's really good. It's really tough watching the original Star Wars trilogy. Why you is know, it tough? Some people are like, some people are like, oh, it's because it's almost fifty years old. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's like it's, uh, which that's, version? Because there's like fifty version. That's the, like ver- you, the version. The remastered ones that are on Disney Plus. That's like you saying yeah, you so have issues with movies because they're black and white. See, people say, see, there's some people. See, there's an age differential here. 
<laughs> so uh, some people that are a little older are uh, kind of they hold tight on, on the original trilogy and they say they're the perfect best movies they should never be done any different but I don't know dude it's it's uh I kind of wish they remake remade them <laughs> mm. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't never remake them be. I wouldn't remake them now under under the uh utilage of Disney because Disney would probably ruin it they would they definitely would but yeah. I'm just I'm just saying that it's really tough to watch them 50 years later oh yeah yeah they um graphically don't hold up very well well, uh, they didn't even use they, they did claymation on a lot of stuff like really zoomed out like yeah <laughs> hey sometimes claymation I mean, stop motion I, I works more pr practical i love more practical than cgi we'll say claymation like, that's and stop my thing with them yeah. um, did you know that the uh fuck what was his name he had a really dumb name but in rogue one whenever saw guerrero was torturing that pilot to get information from him that big squid weird thing that was all animatronic that they used uh like uh, like 115 people on, on to puppet it the big puppet that's kind of cool it wasn't Good. it wasn't cgi so um always in my opinion as i said i would much rather have practical and animatronic yeah. in most cases it's like the same idea for like i refuse to watch the tmnt all i want for... the dudes in the suits I'm all for practical on that, 90s. on, on uh, things like that, but I'm not one for the play animation, make it look like little models and just have it, using it as like an illusion to make it seem like it's big when it's really just a little toy. I'd rather just let's just uh, go yeah. CGI for stuff like that. I mean that that Even just, I could that, see just that. that just that depends on the movie. That, that could be debatable, but yeah, I could see it. That depends on the movie because idea. like it it works really really good for some movies. Like it does, but there's some movies let's where talk it about doesn't. A new, let's talk about a new hope. I don't think it worked well for a new hope. I mean, I honestly haven't seen the original trilogy probably since I was a kid, so I can't say that. Go on Disney Plus, watch A New Hope tonight, Mike, and let me know what you think. Yeah, like a, so well, sometime between, well, sometime between now and next week. Just, just go watch. <laughs> that's that's it's your a job. Fucking struggle, and oh my god, yeah, it's your homework assignment. Okay, a lot thanks. Of people say that the best Star Wars, Star Wars film of all time is either A New Hope or Empire Strikes Back, and oh my god, I hate Empire Strikes Back. I mean. I, granted, if you went to go watch Star Wars, nobody knew that Darth Vader was really Luke's father, and he was Anakin. But like, from my perspective, growing up, like like I said, like some people have really like they're really biased for the original prequels because they grew up with that. That's how I am with the prequels. I think the prequels are perfect and amazing, and you can't fucking touch Phantom Menace because it's the best movie of all time. Uh, your, your favorite character is Jar Jar. My favorite character is Darth Jar Jar, the real. Sith Lord. No. Um, but uh, no. Any, anyways, <laughs> um, and also, also a big thing for me is I was watching Andor, and uh, there is a Lord of the Rings character in Andor. Did you guys know that? What? There is, and and it was somebody who was a bad guy in it, who was a good guy in this one. It is Smeagol. <laughs> And he plays a completely different kind of character than Smeagol. The actor, okay. Was yeah, that, no, was, not, was not like, Smeagol himself. I that, like literal Smeagol in that shit. Yeah, they, like, what the they hell tell, are you talking about? They made a clone, and then the very first scene of the movie, they say somehow Smeagol has returned. <laughs> hmm. Um, you talking about um, Andy Serkis? Yeah, yep, he's in it, and he is a he. He fucking makes it, dude. Like he he makes you want to watch it more in the later part of it that he's in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, anything that I've seen Andy Serkis in when it comes to him actually acting it, or he's doing um, mocap for like any of the characters. Like, I mean, for me, I for, for me and Andy Serkis, a lot of my appreciation of his work comes from the new. Um, Planet of the Apes movies because I feel like he did a yeah, really, yeah. really good job uh, as he's Caesar. So, he's so good at 
because it was a similar thing like it was under oppression right like it, that was the whole thing was under oppression on this and trying to be like an inspirational leader but also being like really human like he does such a good job of that but when i r realized that he was that i was like okay well this guy's really badass and i just kind of looked at him and i was like those lips look really familiar and i was like i feel like he's eating a fish or something i was like that's fucking smeagol <laughs> like marked out for a second. Like, I went to Reddit and I, I was like, Smeagol has returned. You know he's you, <laughs> like, you, you, you know he's in uh the MCU too, right? I think so. He's uh he's uh you use uh the I can't say his first name, but the guy named Claw, he's in Ultron and Black Panther. I haven't seen him in Ultron yet. He's he okay, so um the guy that gets his arm cut off in Ultron. That's yeah, Andy Serkis. Maybe he was at the beginning of that, because I was watching that around the same time, and I, I might have saw him on there, too. That's when, but, he, um, that, that's when uh, the, the guy who was talking to Ultron, and then Ultron got pissed off because he started but, because the guy started talking about Iron Man, so he cut his arm off. But Andor definitely suggests watching Andor. Uh, I think they could have done it in less episodes, though. Uh, they spent 12 episodes on it, um, and a super high budget, and a lot of cinematography on it, and it was... But they really wanted to hit the, like... Just how shitty and oppressive the, the Empire was, and, and kind of a darker side of it, and build it, world building, like, villains. Like, usually in Star Wars, you just see generic Empire people. Um, and it's kind of boring because they're not their own characters. They actually built the villains up mm -hmm. and made made them actual characters, like human characters. And you're like, okay, well, that's why they're like this. But anyways, um, and I think that they had the another. They had a couple. They had a really good cast. They had some really famous people. Yeah, I think I remember um, them having a pretty good cast for that. But I'm just excited to get through the original trilogy because then I can watch Mandalorian finally. That's good. And then after that is the the sequel trilogy. Woohoo! Yeah, I can't wait for that. I love the sequel trilogy. Mm, we've already had a discussion. Well, let me say that again. I like the the seventh one and I like the ninth one. I hate the eighth one. I don't like any of it. But anyways, um, but yeah, so those are things I've watched. Uh, UFC. Um, have you guys been paying attention to UFC? I uh, heard, I, I, I slapping his wife. Yeah, I heard about the yes. video of him uh, of him slapping uh, his wife and everything, and how people saying that he should get fired. There's a lot of people that are saying that they both came out with an apology. Well, okay, so here's what I I here's did what... notice they were doing. They had that like ultimate slap or whatever show that was coming on. They kept advertising it. It's been canceled. Like during AEW, it got canceled, and then. It, I don't know. I have not seen ever well, since that him slapping her. It, I have not seen a single commercial. Several for jokes it. they've been going around because because uh, you know some were saying that the main event for their first slap boxing thing they're going to do is Dana White versus Dana White's wife. Hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm say there's been a lot of controversy uh, behind that too. Some fighters are like, you should never hit a woman no matter what. And then some other UFC fighters are coming out, like uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley. He came out and said, uh, equal rights equal, uh, means equal lefts. So, you know, there's... there's yeah, because that's basically what it is. Is that like... Thing to say. Once, one yeah, side dude. is saying that, like, you should never hit a, a, a woman at all. And the other side is saying that, like, if a woman hits you, you have the right to defend yourself and, or something like that. And, the, and here's what the wife said. The wife said that they were both drinking, they've been in a relationship for 40 years, and they've never hit each other once, which some people are like, that's a long time for that to never happen. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> but anyways, and they both kind of apologize, and they, you know, they're know they kind of moving on from it. So I think it'll be okay. It's just it's a little bit of a controversy. Mm, a little bit? When people are putting thing. hashtag fire Dana White? Oh <laughs> well, yeah, but it hasn't been... Like, number one on trending on Twitter or anything. So, um, that is the biggest thing going on because UFC has been on a break since last time we talked. It's their kind of off season. Yeah. Until, um, next weekend, I think. I think so, yeah. And really, they're not doing anything big because next weekend is, uh, Kevin Gastelum versus some guy I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. 
<laughs> so yeah, I was gonna say like it's gonna be a couple more weeks before we get that uh, uh, Moreno. Mar and March the date on your too. calendar. Jan January twenty first is the goddamn uh, hopefully conclusion to the light heavyweight fuckery, and then the uh, fucking Figueredo versus Moreno rematch. Yeah, the rematch fourth of the rematch. one of the the fourth one of the greatest goddamn battle in UFC history. So their main card. All of their fights I'm actually excited for. So they have those two. They have Gilbert Burns doing a fight. Yeah. They have Lauren Murphy versus Je Jessica Andrade, which is a good one. Um, and then they have a Johnny Walker fight. Do you know about the Johnny Walker thing that happened a long time ago? Uh, don't think so. Dynamite. So <laughs> he was... Dynamite? Uh, so he was... Um... He was celebrating after a win, and he was doing the warm... And he just located his shoulder while he was doing the warm. And he really, he fought, he took a long layoff after he dislocated his shoulder, and then he just got knocked out brutally since then, so. I think um, I remember, um, hold on. I think I remember you talking about that incident where he dislocated his shoulder a while back, so I think I, you were telling me about yeah. that, kind of like a funny injury. Yeah, his uh, and that one country guy. That was the only other thing I, I really had to say about UFC was uh, he is still claiming that he had a cold going into the last fight, and that's why he got his ass kicked. No other reason. Uh, and the UFC, he only he, he only had a couple a thousand dollars left in his account, he said, and he needed the money. Um, and they said if he, they didn't take that fight, they weren't going to offer him another one until Feb <laughs> February. So, anyways. Oh, um, ladies uh, and gentlemen, Paul. ladies and gentlemen, the second half of the podcast is brought to you in part by Everything Krieger Margin. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> uh, Jake Paul. You, you, if you guys oh, he Jake finally Paul called out and signed a fight up uh, with uh, Nate, uh, Nate Diaz. So, yes and no, because nothing's official yet. Um, so, so he he signed with the PFL. Which is another UFC uh, thing, and and they are and he he is joining a new division called um, it, I don't remember exactly what it was, but the uh, equivalent of it is is like celebrities oh. that are joining it, and the rules are you you first do a boxing fight, and then you do an MMA fight. Is what it is. So he's going to box somebody, and then he's going to fight them in MMA. Um, Nate, so he's in Nate's that, gonna kill him, and they're and, and they're thinking Nate Diaz. Now I would I would not probably watch as much as the boxing, but if he fights him in MMA, I'm watching. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I don't uh, care what anyone says. I don't care what happens. If it, 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 either the fight's gonna be rigged or some stupid shit's gonna happen, or Nate Diaz is going to perform the first ever live murder on UFC television. <laughs> Yeah, if I was Nate Diaz, I'd just take him to the ground and beat the shit out of him for fucking 25 minutes. Dude, nothing can knock out um, Nate Diaz. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's taking some really big hits, and he's fine. Now, there will be blood, but, you know. Oh, um, yes, there will be blood. <laughs> but anyway, so, you know, that was that was my only... That was my, that was my things, I think. That was about. your uh, Krieger Corner spiel? <laughs> Unless I uh, something else gets out of me, you know. Speaking of which, I, I, I just I just want to say it was just completely hilarious because I was like laughing half the time because you popped into the chat about like the first like hour and a half in, and then once you got in, you just took the reins and ran because you were talking so fast. And just going and going and going and going. And that's why I was like, this part of the podcast is now brought to you in part by the Krieger Margins Corner. Welcome to the Krieger Show, presented by Krieger. Um, <laughs> fucking. Oh, I got banned on Smite for a little bit because my game kept crashing. This is just random. Um, so I created a secondary account for whenever I get banned. That's my Smurf account. Um, and it is uh, Scaredy Cree is the name of it. <laughs> 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 Um, oh, one, of our, oh. one of our friends is Gallon. He changed his name to Scarecrow Scar. So our other friend, whose name is Ronto, 
his name was Lazy Kitten. He changed his name to Scaredy Crow, so I changed mine to Scaredy Crow. Mm. Watch out, so, here comes the Scaredy Crew. But we, we went, uh, you know, if you're a brand new account, they place you with brand new people, and we went on there, and we just absolutely destroyed people. <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> but anyways. See, like, I was explaining to him earlier before you hopped on that I have ran into another issue with my uh, PlayStation. Um, the uh, disc reader is not wanting to read discs again. Did you look up your Xbox chat so we can actually record some content? I have it set up somewhere, but I need to figure something else out for a setup because right now all of my outlets are either covered or being used at the moment, so I'll have to figure something else out for that. As soon as you figure that out, we can we can play some of these damn games. <laughs> Get on there! Vidja games are real! Says the guy playing 2K22 Vidja on games Xbox. Like you do naughty things. Then you need to get the game pass. Uh, you're telling me to get this and this and that when I already have a god amount of money I need to pay off first before anything before anything else. Oh yeah, before you do that, I I I need I, uh, I still you know. You I have no money. idea how much money I owe to the, to the city of Pitt right now. Why would you owe money to Pittsburgh? Utilities. Yeah, I'm actually. I've got my utilities paid down to three hundred that I owe now, so I'm doing you know lo lower than what it was like. Eight, what eight or nine hundred? Yeah, I here. mine's kind of put on hold for now until I either get enough money or I get that job started over at Schwann's or get a job started somewhere else. One of the two. Are you not working at the slow season place? I mean, the the issue. So the issue I'm running into with that is like it's picked up. I have, like, enough jobs to probably cover the rest of this month and next month. It's just I don't have the gas money to drive to one town one day, come back home, drive to a different town the next day, then come back home, then drive to a completely different town the next day, bounce over to another town, then come back home. It's just, it's... It's basically counterproductive. Sleep in your car, man. It's counterproductive when it comes to gas money. They not pay you that. They should pay you for your gas. I mean, they do, but it's only. But I can't get all the jobs. Yeah, I can't get all the jobs I need to get done when it's. I only get paid like twice a month. They should pay you like at the end of the day. They should, but they don't. Sounds like you need to find a new place to work. I'm already working on that. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, you have to say Rupa. Always an option. Root Canal. <laughs> Retail, not Root Canal. Retail. <laughs> or uh, work at a... Distribu uh, st the distribution company or something like that. That's why I was saying Schwann's. Yeah. Because I might have that get up in like a week or two. I'm just kind of put on hold. Now I feel like we've reached to the part where we have ran out of things to talk about. <laughs> There's no such thing as that. <laughs> um, I have plenty to talk about. Of course I, you do. I could say this if for the wrestling thing if you haven't seen the will offspray kenny omega match at wrestle kingdom 17 do yourself a major favor and watch it i got a feeling that krieger probably won't watch it because of the fact that he doesn't it's either he says he doesn't get the hype behind kenny omega or he just he Listen, doesn't i'm gonna say this one more time <laughs> the air for every all of our millions of fans at home Millions, I said. Um, uh, Kenny Omega is trash, uh, and he is overrated. At least he didn't hey, Jim Cornette. At least he didn't so say the Will Ospreay. Oh, okay, Jim Cornette. At least he didn't well, say I Will Ospreay. Say, I would say Ospreay if I knew who that was. 
No, Park. no. And see, now there's th your problem. See, th th you that's don't know. Th th that's where it is right there. That's where my statement earlier makes sense. He is underrated because nobody knows who the fuck he is besides his social media personality. <laughs> Yeah. speak for itself and apparently it doesn't um but i mean if you watched him it would but in fairness i i've been out of wrestling for a little bit i heard there were a rumble so we'll have to do a rumble yeah that's coming we'll up we're gonna have to de special. definitely do that like we do every year yeah i'll have to look to hopefully it's not anytime soon because i'm working for the next eight days in a row and my I closer quit while i was on vacation going to check that right now You said uh, somebody yeah, my clo while someone's on vacation? Yeah, my closer, the, the one that came back that was that worked with me like five years ago, he quit. Oh, um, that's oh. not till January 28th, so you're good. Let me see if I can see my schedule. Up. What? Oh, it's a Saturday, okay. Yeah, that's a Saturday. What did I tell you when the UFC show was again? Um, 21st? 21st, the weekend prior. Take a look to see what. I think that's what you said, at least. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, are we gonna establish shot games for these uh, drinking games for these shows? Listen, like if we're if I'm going to have to get any alcohol for these shows, I'm gonna have to sneak them upstairs because. <laughs> You're an adult, sir. I am an adult, but I don't know. Drinking this... is a sin unless it's the blood of Jesus. I live okay, in a, I so... live in a household of a Catholic family, okay? A Catholic drink more than anyone else. What the fuck are you talking about? They're in their seventies and eighties. If Catholics know two things, it is drinking and touching children. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> oh, he's not wrong. Listen, I'm no. You should probably no. say like seven Hail Marys for that one, though. Listen, yeah, that I, listen, that doesn't. Dude, I, I my family is Catholic. I know Catholic. Listen, it's that that doesn't help Catholic. my situation because number one, they have four kids downstairs, and number two, they go to a Catholic church every Sunday. All right, so here's what you do: you go downstairs wow. and you say, "Hail Satan! Hail Satan!" <laughs> no, <laughs> they're not. Then. Then he has to have the audio recording so we can hear the exorcism. Yeah, dude. We, he needs to be exorcised. So, unfortunately, on the 21st, you said 21st, right? Yeah, 21st um, was I work, I work 1 to 10 that night, so I'm oh. going to catch, like, the main events. Fuck. I'll still be able to see the Brandon Moreno fight, though. Hopefully, if they, don't, if they don't fly through the card like they did the, that one time. And then the following weekend, which is, the, oh, I can only see out to the 27th, but the good news is I am working, let's see, so they'll give me Wednesday, so they will either give me Saturday or Sunday off, they will probably give me um, Saturday, so hopefully I should be off for the Rumble, though. Yeah, hopefully. But I don't want to miss that brain or brain. Currently, my days off are Mondays and Fridays, but that may be changing to probably... Wednesdays and Fridays, I think. Yeah. Uh, mine... Listen, I was talking about today. Until further notice, mine is up in the air. It's like, I'm homeless. <laughs> <laughs> Check what I scribbled on my box here. Uh, it's funny because uh, I still... Right. I don't have a pen. That's, that's today funny. I'm a homeless veteran. That's funny because I still have stuff in boxes here upstairs, not even out of the box yet. Yeah. Oh man, I'm lucky enough to get have my desk set up and running right now. I'm happy I was able to find, find my own place because after I got kicked, you know, the bitch was like, "You gotta leave." I was like, "Ah, oh, out of here." Oh, like I'm fucked. Like I'm not gonna be afford anything, but I can I can afford everything. I should say I can afford just enough. Just enough. Just enough. <laughs> hey, I have a hundred and I have a hundred and seventy bucks in savings now. After all my bills are paid, you know my credit score shot up fifty points. I'm just don't good. just don't be DoorDash and a shit ton of food. Ironically, I DoorDash today. Oh my god. <laughs>
I swear to God, like, I, I doubt this will ever happen, but, like, if I ever go to Wichita to fucking DoorDash and I'm DoorDashing to you, I'm literally going to look at you, look at you in the face and say, give me 10 bucks for a tip now or I'm not giving your food. I, I literally do not tip when I DoorDash. Well, you're, you're not, you're not getting your food from me. <laughs> today they did, today I didn't tip, so the guy ate my cookies. I ordered some cookies at the meeting. See, not, I'm an oh, upstanding, I'm an upstanding ci citizen when it comes to delivery. You done delivering. Santa Claus, your ass. Yeah, but I, you know what I said? I just, I said, you know what? I didn't tip him. That's fair. I'm not gonna say anything. Fair trade. So, fair trade. Good old Saint Nick. Yeah, those those cookies were only worth about a dollar and a half anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's enough for a tip, I guess. Yeah. But anyways, um. But yeah, so the you know you know I'm doing I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. Alive. I'm unfortunately am alive. <laughs> I'm I'm glad to be alive with the roof on my head. And then nightmare. Head. Um. Oh, yeah. Any a toot. What? Any a toot. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I'm trying to get Gallon to play Dark Pictures with games with me, so we're starting on Man Medan, hopefully tomorrow. How's that going? So, well, no, we'll hopefully get to do it tomorrow. Oh, okay, I thought you were saying you were still trying to. No, I've been trying to get him to do it for a while. But... Yeah. Oh, Anyways. um, so kind of some, uh, news, I guess, uh... Your uh, match with Fatty Yoga Krieger is supposed to be dropping on the 13th. Uh, it's... We're uploading? It's uploading. And I was going to make a joke saying it's dropping okay. like you almost dropped him on top of my coffee table. You mean through <laughs> your coffee table? Which, years you later, you're, you're still the reason why I broke. I was going to say, I, sh I should have just broke it then. It would have been more memorable. <laughs> <laughs> God. God. Uh, oh, have we gotten any updates on uh, the Friday the 13th show at all on Peacock? On the TV series thing? Yeah. I don't know. I've heard I that the, heard the, the, the house has struggled to elect a speaker of their house. But, you know. Well, they finally did it after like 15 votes. Yeah, you know. McCarthy <laughs> is the first Republican to not refuse oh, a loss like and it. actually win from it. Yeah, that was the first uh, first time anything happened like that since the Civil War. Yeah, I, so we're yeah after like 160 uh, years or so. Yeah. Anyways. Good old America. I don't think it has a release date perfect yet. Perfect day would be like next Friday would be the perfect day. Like this coming Friday. Oh, anyways, the Disney. Thirteen. Thing. You guys know that Disney has a screen share thing, like a wa wa watch like... party function. Hmm. So, so if you no, because to... I don't use it. Oh well, assuming that you did. <laughs> if we wanted to watch something, <laughs> we could just click on that, and you inv you just invite them right in, and you can fucking watch a movie at the same time. You don't have to do the lining up thing. I wish mm -hmm. Netflix and some other streaming services did that because it would be easy for us to watch films and review them. Okay. Um, so from what I'm seeing, there isn't a release date yet. It's supposed to come out sometime this year. But if this article were to guess, they would say that it would premiere um, this uh, October on Friday the 13th. Because it's fitting. Oh, there's perfectly good Friday the 13th this Friday. Yeah. Just do it then, man. Oh, here's yeah. what we do, boy. Here's what we do. Are you ready? I'm listening. Okay, you sent a message in the chat. That, that's what we need to do right now. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, what do we got? Which Wait, chat are you sending it to? God. Yeah, which chat? Discord or Facebook? Oh, <laughs> There we go. Notification didn't pop up. Okay. Yeah, I've already seen it. 
Well, you gotta watch it live, react to it live. I will say the <sighs> kid version is honestly a little creepy. In case you viewers are wondering, he has continued the tradition of the podcast to demand the live reaction of Terrifier 2. I've added Terrifier 2 to my wish list now. He has continued the tradition of demanding it. It's on my flash drive, you know. Make copies of those and send them to us. I have like four or five. I actually <laughs> stole um, a couple. Every review I'm seeing on here is five stars. <laughs> of course. It's good. Somebody said art for president, five stars. <laughs> Better than some of them we've had. He wouldn't say much. <laughs> Brief news briefing would just be him creepily smiling and maybe stabbing a person. Or waving. Riding a a, a toddler tricycle. Yeah. Honking its horn. Basically. While wearing a woman's <laughs> while wearing a woman's uh skin suit. Like he did in the first one. <laughs> Sounds like a perfectly good president to me. Oh my god. Uh on that note. Has better hair than some of them. On that note, I think that's all the time we got <laughs> for this podcast. <laughs> hey, you got to talk for like 45 minutes, so. You guys were about done by the time I was coming in? No, we were still, we were actually just finishing up the wrestling stuff and then you jumped in. Oh, nothing else you want to talk about? I mean, we pretty much covered everything. At least I think. Did, did we cover everything? So, I mean, unless... What did what did we not Krieger cover, Krieger? Um, John Cena's receding hairline. Oh yeah, he came back. He has a bald spot. Hey, how do you know, man? You can't see him, so you can't see the hairline. You have to have special limited edition, uh, special ordered John Cena glasses. Yeah, it costs like three grand. Um, Black Adam is not good. Oh yeah, we did talk about the. We we did. We did we did talk about a little bit of the Warner Brothers um, mess. I didn't know if you wanted to kind of do a further detailed explanation on that because I know you were covering it as much as I was. It's all fucked. That's that's my, that's my details for it. All the fun. fact that they said that Black Adam was a good movie, and then they turned around and said that those stories are fabricated, God damn and then, it. then they... Why, why am I just picturing this, like, a, a news show, and like, all right, we're gonna go to Krieger to see about the Warner Brothers situation. It's all fucked, sir. <laughs> it's like that one scene... Okay, that was Krieger. It's, it's like that... <laughs> Do you have any specifics? They're, they're, they're just really fucked. It's like that one scene from Family Guy. I don't have it, sorry. Like that one scene like, from uh, well, fa Family yeah, Guy like, with the weather reporter. It go rain! It's raining. <laughs> Don't be wet. <laughs> How wet is it going to be? Very wet. Very, very wet. Very, very. That was Krieger with a special reporting on the weather. The weather. On the outside. <laughs> on the outside. Beware, if you're on the outside, it is wet. You might get a little damp. Oh, you're on the outside. Get on the inside. That's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> All hey. into interpretation, my friend. All into interpretation. Listen, dude, I will donate money to the WWF, the World Wildlife Fund. Okay, what's that supposed to do? This is an option on my on Xbox. Are you gonna donate one hundred and seventy dollars to the World Wildlife Foundation? Yeah, one hundred and seventy dollars. <laughs> yeah. And just and just walk to work. 
Oh, is that enough to get like to like adopt one where they send you like a little picture and say you're well is doing this now? Or no, it's like ricegames.com. No, it's 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 like he he donates the rest of his uh, bank f funds to World Wildlife Foundation and they send him a panda. And it's just rolling through his half what damp. What do you want to do with this? <laughs> he's rolling through his half damp holy apartment. I don't have any bamboo. What am I gonna do? <laughs> oh shit! Hey, can I door dash bamboo? <laughs> can I door dash bamboo? <laughs> yeah, you can get that at your local grocery store. Go, go to your. Herbalist and herbalists. Herbalist and herbalists. Depending how you want to pronounce it, there is a fucking H in it, so it should be herbalist. <laughs> uh, alrighty. Well, I think that's a good stopping point. A good, a good uh, bookend to this return podcast once I either am able to recover the last episode or I guess re-record it. That's going to be a lot of fun. This has been another episode of the Mic Check Podcast. You know where to find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the works. You can also find us on Discord. Join the chat in Discord. and Only fans. No only fans. <laughs> join, the, join, the chat, join the chat on Discord and share your thoughts on what possible content that we can do for the future since the flow of new con content is kind of slowly put on hold until I figure something else out with this hard drive issue and this living situation I have at the current moment. <laughs> um, you can also find us on YouTube. Well, uh, just look up Mike Checked Productions and subscribe there. Like and share with your friends of all our videos and everything. And of course, um, if you're listening to us on Spotify, you've already found us, the Mike Check Podcast and all that fun jazz that we call social media this is my check 95 along with my two cohorts who are dead silent Famous. hey yo lyson fang and krieger margin krieger margin the great and we are signing out Yee. of this episode